I'm the third sheriff to take this case on. The thought of her mom never having an answer of who did that to her daughter. I wouldn't wish this on even my worst enemy. And when she didn't come back, I panicked. She would not have just gone off and gone someplace without telling me, period. She wouldn't. We came around the corner and we got out of the main river and into the little side channel and I could see pink, something pink. When you lifted her out of the water as a father, did you say anything to her? Mm. You're the first person that asked that. I said, I got gotcha. you. I don't think I ever believed, ever, that they would catch the guy. Oh, I want to be viewed as a suspect. I mean, that's what they should do. That's their job. Usually it's the person closest. It's the killer. It could have been anyone and everywhere we went could have been the person that did this to Mandy. Everywhere I looked, there was danger. In the 80s, it wasn't a typical type of crime scene evidence that was collected or even thought about necessarily. Time and time again, they would have a person of interest. They would question that person, but something would rule them out. They had a good alibi, or ultimately, their DNA did not match. This case dragged on. Then I just said that I knew that it was Tim, that it was Tim Bass. Why did you say Tim Bass? I thought it was Tim Bass because of the experiences that I had had with him in the past. Disturbing that, experience. Very disturbing, yes. So he just looked up and was like, Mandy, Mandy, Mandy. Um, Oh yeah, she was the girl that they found in the river. It was kind of like, okay, I think we're being played here. He, who could who could forget Mandy Stavick? for an answer. I'm going to find something. I'm going to get you something. And I just stood there and went, it's game time. And I'm like, this is a jackpot. And so this time my heart was like, oh, I was, I was dying because there's a lot of people around. So I grabbed it and then I was like, <laughs> I threw it in my desk drawer. And Katie from the crime lab says, Kevin, we've got a match.
I really, I really never dreamed. I really never dreamed it.